Welcome to the CSAT series. Today's question, what is the remainder if 2 power 192 is divided by 6? It is very simple question given in the CSAT 2023. So given is 2 power 192 when divided by 6, what is the remainder? This is the question actually. For this, what we can do? Just analyze the powers of 2 because 2 is given in the base of the numerator. So, just analyze the powers of 2. So, 2 power 1 is the starting power. From that, I am starting. Value of 2 power 1, 2, 2 power 2, 4, 2 power 3, 8, 2 power 4, 16. These values to be divided by 6 to get the pattern. So, when 2 divided by 6, what is the remainder? Tell me. Similar way, 4 divided by 6, what is the remainder? Like that way, you want to divide the expanded value of the powers with 6. Okay. The thing is, when 2 divided by 6, can make the work in the ref column, the remainder is going to be the same number because 6 is the highest number which is the divisor, 2 is the smallest number which is the dividend. Whenever the dividend is smaller than the divisor, always the remainder equal to the dividend. This is the basic rule of division. Otherwise, if you want to do the calculation, you can make like this. 0 times 6 is 0 because 1 times 6 if you take you will get negative remainder. So, you can take in this way. So, a positive remainder we got is 2. Right. So, I have taken 2. Similar way when 4 divided by 6 remainder is 4. 8 divided by 6 what is the remainder? Remainder 2. 8 divided by 6 1 times 6 is 6 remainder 2. Again I got 2. 16 divided by 6. So, the remainder I will get. 2 times 6 is 12, the balance 4. So, look at the pattern. What is the similarity you can see here? 2, 4, after the 2, 4, again you will get 2, 4. This is the pattern. The cyclicity of the remainders are 2. So, after 2 numbers, they are repeating themselves. So, the remainder concepts, they are the at the repetition mode after 2 numbers. So, I can write like this 2 power 1, the remainder is 2. What is the understanding from this? When 2 power is odd, see here 2 power 3, the remainder is 2 again. When the power of 2 is odd, the remainder we get is 2. When the power of 2 is even, for example, you can look at the 2 power 2 and 2 power 4. The remainder we got is 4. So, I can take this concept to crack this. When 2's power is odd, while dividing by 6, we get the remainder 2. When 2's power is even, while dividing by 6, we get the remainder as 4. So, finally, what is the question? 2 power even number. 192 is what kind of number? It is even number. So, 2 power even. So, even means answer is going to be 4. So, the previous CSAT question can be easily cracked. The answer is 4. Right. So, next thing. Question for today. What is the remainder if 3 power 5106 is divided by 12? Your options are given here. All are single digit numbers. So, as usual, you can post your answer in the comment section. Answer for the previous video's question. So, given is A, B, C, D, E, F, G are four digit numbers. And three digit numbers respectively such that A, B, C, D, E, F and G are distinct non-zero digits. They are not zero digits, but everything is 
a single digit number. If you add both A, B, C, D plus E, F, G, you get 2222 as the result. So, this is the pattern of decoding the question. Next thing, the requirement is, what is the value of A, B, C, D, E, F, G all together? Based on the previous CZ question, this question I have given. So, the idea is sum of any single digit, any two, I want to write, any two single digit numbers. They are also non-zero numbers. What is the minimum value and maximum value of any two single digit numbers? Minimum value 3, maximum value 17 as earlier we have discussed in the previous video. Now 2 is given. It is not 2 because the minimum value must be 3. So the 2 means it has to be 12. So I can write D plus G is 12. Carry over 1. So 1 plus C plus F here also again 2. It is not just 2, it has to be 12. So 2 taken here, balance 1. So 1 plus C plus F, 12 again. Similarly, you can take this 1 plus B plus E is again 12. At last, A we got. So carry over 1, 1 plus A. It is correct to write 1 plus A which gives us 2 at the last. Now tell me what is D plus G, C plus F, B plus C, A. All together you can add up and tell me the result. Here we want A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So I collect D plus G. 12. And from here C plus F plus 1 is 12 means what is C plus F? 12 minus 1, 11. B plus E, again this 12 minus this one, 11. Finally, A is 2 minus 1, 1. So, collect all the things together, 12 plus 11, 23, 23 plus 11, you will get 34, 34 plus 1, 35. So, the answer for this question is 35. Meet you in the another interesting session. Thanks for watching.